So I'm just in AV to show um, what the mod looks like and show how it functions. And after this, I'll go over how to how to configure it and how how to customize it. So with the default Blizzard UI, you'll start off with something that looks like this. These great big, you know, green clunky health bars. So to get rid of um, to get rid of these, you just want to open up this great panel and just um, just click on the hide button here. Now we'll get rid of the, the default Blizzard UI. So I'm just going to follow the group here and stay um, within range so we can see um, see the healing bars. And you might be wondering, um, well, where's the UI? Where uh, where are the health bars? Well, it's there. It's it's on the it's on the left side there, but it will only show up when players are in range and they have low HP. So because all these guys here have full HP, there won't be any bars that show up, but they will show up. They'll show up on, on the left there. Basically, I got the idea from, from another game. I can't remember what game it was, but they only showed um, the UI elements um, when they were um, necessary to show them, like when they were applicable to the situation. So I really wanted to, do, um, to make uh, um, a mod... Um, a unit frame mod that was similar to that earlier. Um, so I applied something like that to um, the raid health bars and it works. It works really well, I think. So we've just passed the field of strife waiting for the others to, to catch up here. Yeah. And we're at the first boss. I think this boss was called, uh, shit, what was he called? Can't remember. Uh, Galvinger, okay. So there we go, that guy's the tank, he's taken damage. And there we go, the boss has just done some AoE there, you can see three bars just pop up including the tank. And there's some more AoE damage, and you can also see the prediction bar um, popping up, people healing the, uh, the injured players there. There's more people getting hit by, oh, oh, quite a few got hit by the AOE just then. You can see all sorts of bars popping up. So it only shows, it only shows the players that are injured, that you need to heal. It doesn't show the ones that are full HP, which makes it just so much easier to see who needs a heal and who doesn't need a heal. So it'll also show um, range on the unit frames. If a player if a player goes out a certain range, it'll fade out the bars there like that. And if they stay out of range um, long enough, it'll just hide the, the the health bar. You won't have to wait till it becomes full HP. Okay, so we're just on Drek'thar here. Now. One of the problems um, that I found with the Blizzard UI is that it has too much information. So I've created something that's um, that's very streamlined, very compact, and it's it's very much a minimalist UI. So it only shows you um, the information that you need. And um, uh, one of the problems um, I had with the Blizzard UI, well, not really um, a problem per se, but um, because it has if it's showing such a large area of bars um, you find yourself having to look through all these bars that are full hp just to try and pick out the ones that are um, that do need a heal now if you look carefully at the health bars there you'll notice that they have black borders around them um, now if if they have debuffs that you can remove those black bars um, will line up a different color. For example, if they have a poison on them that you can remove, it'll line up as green. Um, if there's a curse you can remove, it'll, it'll be purple. And you, you can change the colors, obviously. You can customize that. Okay, to customize it, you want to look for a file called um, Moraid UI.lua. 
and you want to open that with a uh, text editor I'm just using um, notepad plus plus that's what all the cool kids are using and you want to uh, straight up you want to change this one here to true hold control press s and save it and switch back to wow and press slash slash reload Okay, and all the all the bars will show up then. Um, so what I've done is I've just randomized the first 20 bars. And here you can also see the uh, the debuff effect I was talking about, how it shows up. This, this green here is a poison, this orange one is a disease, and this one's curse, and this is magic. Okay, um, X and Y. This is just the offset for where the bars are placed. So um, it'll go by the top left corner here. It anchors the top left corner to the top right corner of the gray panel. I think Blizzard called that the, um, I don't know, the compact raid, raid frame manager or something like that. But it's anchored here and you can use these X and Y values to, um, to shuffle it about if you want to move the position of it. And this here, this frame, frame width and frame height, that's the size of each individual bar and um, it's all in pixels so you can um, change that to whatever size you like and um, rows per column um, that will be um, how many well how many rows per column there is so here i've got it set up for 10 rows per column unfortunately you can't set the, the border width individually you have to has to be um, uniform on all sides that's um it's got to do with the blizzard code and how they've, they've set that up but it has to be um it has to be just one one setting that's a this is in pixels so it'll be th this will be three pixels wide all the way around it's the border for um uh, these buffs here as well as well as the black bars going around now spacing vertical spacing and horizontal spacing that's how far apart each of the bars um, are that's how far apart they separate the bars now mouse insets, it controls where you're able to click. This gives each each side of an inset of five pixels. So instead of stopping here, it will stop um, five pixels up and it will stop five pixels to the to the right, five pixels below, five pixels to the left. You could set it as a minus value. So you can avoid clicking the borders or you could set it to a positive value to have like a larger area that you can click. Now the name offset. So initially the name gets set to um, the top left of the HP bar and the bottom right of the HP bar. And using the name offsets, you can control um, where the name is placed. Now with these two values, um, mouse insets and, and name offsets, you could, if you wanted to, um, make HP bars that look similar to the Final Fantasy um, um, HP bars. So where they have uh, like a, th a long, thin HP bar with the name underneath the bar, you could have you could have something like that if you wanted to. And now this shadow offset, what this does is create a shadow um, for for the name. So if you've got if you've got, for example, um, what a white colored name uh, that's over top of a very light a very light bar it will be very difficult to see but with it if you give it a shadow um, that will make it a little bit easier to see i'm not sure if you can see it here but um, it's got a shadow that's going one to the right and then one down okay hp predict you can use this to turn on and off the blue bars here these are prediction bars so whenever um, someone has an incoming heal these prediction bars will show up but you can turn those off if you want by uh, changing this to false now predict multiple multi um, this is just a multiplier for um, the prediction so um, blizzard they haven't actually worked out the numbers for um, healing prediction so um, I've just added this so you can sort of tweak it manually. And this, this, uh, this just multiplies it by three. And that, that seems to be, uh, it seems to look um, somewhat accurate. So you can change that if you want. 
Okay, show dispel borders. Those are the um, these borders here, the poison and the the curse, the magic and disease. You can turn those off if you want to turn them off. Okay, show full HP dispels. Now, if you turn this one on, it will show um, the bars that you can um, remove a um, uh, remove a debuff, um, even if they're at full HP. So if Say for example, um, this bar here is at full HP, but it has a buff you can remove. It will it will show up, um, even though they're at full HP. It'll show up just in case the code fails for some reason. Um, you can sh uh, force the mod to show poisons. You can force it to show diseases, magics, and curses. Or if you wanted to have the, have it on for some reason, and you're not a class that dispels, like you just need to see that information. For some reason, you can you can turn it on here. Okay, compact raid manager alpha. This changes the alpha of that that grey panel that shows up on the left here. Okay, visibility threshold. Now, what this does is it won't show. Um, oh, this this is this here is a percentage ninety percent. So it won't show bars that are above 90% HP. And so that's for, um, say for example, if you res up at a graveyard or something like that, and someone casts, you know, power word fortitude on you, and you get a little bit of HP from that, it, it won't show up the bars because you, you, know, you don't really need to really need to heal, heal that. You can, you can change this value if you want to though, if you need that to be higher. Okay, this show alpha, um, this controls um, the transparency for visible frames. So frames that are meant to be visible, it controls the transparency for that. So one is 100% um, hide alpha. Um, this is uh, this is the alpha for when the frames are supposed to be hidden. So you could, if you wanted to have all the all the frames on at all times, you could change this to to a, um, um, a higher value. You could say point put it to point to point two if you wanted to. If you want to have it, you know, if you just want to have it uh, on screen all the time, and um, out of range alpha that's the alpha that it sets to sets the bars to when they move out of range and out of range hold time that is how long the bar will stay visible for um for a hp bar that's gone out of range so um you're you're healing someone they go out of range and they go to 40 percent um uh, transparency here and they stay there for 10 seconds. And so after 10 seconds, it'll hide the bar. Okay, hide self. Now, when you're in a raid, obviously you'll be a, you'll be a member of that raid. And one of these bars will be your bar. And so if you turn this on, you could hide that bar. What Blizzard do when they, um, uh, when you're in an area that has cross, cross realm instancing, um, they add, they add the server name to the end of players that are from a different server. And so, if you were to turn this on, um, well, it's already on, but you could, you uh, that hides that name, and you use these to add a, a prefix or a suffix on the end of it. I've just added a little, you know, a little asterisk there. Now people might be wondering, oh, why don't I just use a lib like Ace2 or something like that, where you can make a profile. Well, um, um, the mods that I make, I just make them for um, for personal use, like like just for um, myself sort of thing. Um, but I'll share the code just so others can, you know, might have some use out of it sort of thing. 